So what are some symptoms then to look out for in prostate cancer? Samantha, prostate cancer typically does not cause any symptoms until it's quite advanced. As opposed to prostate enlargement, which is a benign condition, that's what causes issues with urinary flow, uh, waking up at night time or dribbling. In regards to prostate cancer, the suggestion is, or the recommendation is to, at the age of 50, see your GP for a basic blood test. If there's strong family history, that should be done at the age of 45. So I'm male, I'm 50, I should probably get a checkup, but what's involved? Uh, Samantha, it's, it's as simple as going and seeing your GP and doing a blood test. Uh, there's a blood test called a PSA, and that determines your risk. Uh, following the PSA blood test, if there's any concerns on the reading, then typically your GP will refer you to a urologist, and that's part of my job to determine whether there's need for further evaluation. This could typically include a prostate examination, uh, as well as an MRI scan and a transperineal prostate biopsy. So prostate cancer very rarely involves the whole prostate. It usually occurs in one or two small areas, uh, and this is where MRI can come in handy. Uh, it can help us determine uh, where exactly the prostate cancer is and, and help map that out, uh, which can be important when it leads to doing a biopsy or even surgery down the track. So how do you make the diagnosis that it actually is prostate cancer? Yeah, so we get a suspicion of prostate cancer based on a PSA blood test and abnormal examination and possibly the use of an MRI but ultimately to make a diagnosis we need to perform a biopsy and a transperineal biopsy is a way of sampling a small amount of the prostate cancer. Uh, we can do a very targeted biopsy if there's something suspicious on the MRI uh, and that procedure is done under a general anaesthetic. Uh, it's a relatively painless procedure and just performed as a day case. Um, we get the results back very quickly. Uh, a pathologist is then able to look at the results under a microscope uh, and determine firstly is there cancer there or not and then how aggressive is this cancer so we can make a decision about what needs to be done.